you have decided to join me tonight or whenever you're choosing to watch this. So I thought with Baldur's Gate 3 fully releasing soon, probably by the time you're watching this, the game will already be out. But I'm going to be doing a new playthrough on this channel. So I wanted to create a few characters and then kind of leave it up to you and the rest of my viewers um, which one I use for my playthrough. So for this one, my goal is to kind of make a succubus-like character. I created a poll if I should make a good, neutral, or evil character. And evil seems to be the clear winner, at least at the time of making this video. Maybe the poll will turn around, but it seems like evil is what everyone wants. So I'm going to make a succubus, a pirate-like character, and then there will, in the full game, there's a, a new origin character called the Dark Urge. In the Dark Urge, um, you kind of have a mysterious background, but you have like a murderous desire. So I want to make a druid with the Dark Urge, kind of like a werewolf character almost, but a little different. So we're going to start off with the succubus, and then I'll make the other two in separate videos. Unless it only takes like five minutes to make this character, then I might combine them, but we'll see how this goes. So the first thing is we need to select a background. So we have the Acolyte. You have spent your life in service to a temple, learning sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the god or gods you worship. Serving the gods and discovering their sacred works will guide you to greatness. That one could almost be fitting. Let's see, Charlatan. You're an expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration, and more than happy to profit from it. Bending the truth and turning allies against each other will lead to greater success down the road. That one could also be fitting. And then we also have the background features down here. So you get different, different proficiencies depending on which background you choose. Criminal. I don't know if this one would be that fitting. You have a history of breaking the law and surviving by leveraging less than legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprise will lead to greater opportunities in the future. You have entertainer. Again, I don't know if that's that fitting. Folk hero. That kind of sounds too wholesome. A guild artisan. I don't think that is fitting. A noble. Uh, in a certain way, maybe it could be fitting like an evil noble succubus. I don't know. Outlander. Learning to sur survive far from the comforts of civilization. Surviving unusual hazards of the wild will embrace your prowess and understanding. I will enhance, not embrace. That one's not that fitting. Sage. Learning about rare lore of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. Maybe. Soldier. That doesn't seem that fitting. Urchin. You know how to make the most out of very little using street smarts. Bolsters your spirit for the journey ahead. I'm not really sure how succubuses get created. Maybe they're a poor person that makes a bad deal with a demon or a devil. I'm not sure. Maybe that one could fit. I'm thinking probably charlatan is the best one. 
and it gives us the deception proficiency, which I think is fitting. I'm going to leave the name as default for now, because I'm going to have to recreate these characters in the full game, but this will at least give you a rough idea of what I'm going for with these different options. I think of all the races, and there'll be a few added races like Half-Orc and Dragonborn and potentially others in the full game. But I think the obvious choice here is Tiefling. This kind of gives you that classic. When you think of a succubus, this is kind of what I picture. So you have different sub-races. Asmodeus, Tiefling, Mephisto, Alias. Yeah, Mephisto Ilias. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Tiefling. You have the blue Tiefling. And you have the Zariel Tiefling, which is yellow. So, the first one, the red one. Bound to Nessus, the deepest layer of the Hells. These Tieflings inherent inherited the ability to wield fire and darkness from the archdevil Asmodeus's infernal bloodline. You get hellish resistance, which your blood protects you from flame, abyssal, or otherwise. Gain resistance to fire damage, taking only half damage from it. And you get dark vision, so you can see in the dark up to 12 meters. You get base racial speed. Oh, I guess that's just your base racial speed. Plus one intelligence and plus two charisma. I don't know if these are in the final games. I heard that all the characters have the same ability scores, all the races. But charisma is what we want to go for. Descended from the archdevil Mephistopheles, these tieflings are gifted with a particular affinity for arcane magic. So it looks like you still get Elish resistance and dark vision. Same. So it looks like you get the same traits. And you can't switch your cantrip, so you get thou. Thaumaturgy, I'm probably saying that wrong, manifests a sign of supernatural power that grants you advantage on intimidation and performance checks. That seems kind of useful, if I'm going to be intimidating a lot. And tieflings from the Zariel's bloodline are empowered with martial strength and can channel searing flames to punish their enemies. So this one gets strength instead of intelligence. I think the Asmodeus ones makes the most sense. Okay, now we have the fun part, the appearance tab. So, I think we want to go with female for this. Maybe a succubus could be non-binary, but we'll just keep it female for now. I think there's more voices in the full game, but let's hear the voices. Where to next? I kind of like that one. This one seems kind of more intimidating, but I think it'd make more sense to kind of give the appearance of gentleness and weakness, but it's actually an evil succubus. That's my, at least, my personal opinion. Now let's see what we have for heads. Not a ton of variety here. I'm thinking head two is... <laughs> I 
think it's between two and five. I think I like two a little bit better. But something, let's, let's keep five, maybe we'll switch it. And then the horns, let's see what we have for horn styles. Kind of like the curly ones. Oh, those are kind of nice. They're not too big. That's almost like the classic of what I was picturing. I got a lot of horns. I kind of like that one. I kind of like those ones too. Seems like a lot, but uh, maybe seven. It's between seven, eleven, and the ones have gold on them. Is it these ones? It's between four, seven, and eleven. Like I kind of like how subtle these ones are. Those ones are big, but they're like not too much. Eleven is like... I think maybe four. I kind of like the subtlety of them. Let's see the skin tone. Like, do I want to go? more human-like, or do I want to go? You can also go with like one of these more purplish tones. This is the one that we started with. Like that's really red. I'm thinking four is just the one we started with though. And then what color eyes do we want? That makes it look way different to have like the normal ones. Kind of like the t demonic purple, between the demonic purple and blue. I think maybe the demonic purple. And then what are we gonna do for our hairstyle? Well, so let's just change the class. So my, what I want to do with the succubus, if I go with this one, is do mostly bard. I think start as a warlock. And from what I've seen, take like two levels of warlock to get Eldritch Blast. And then at level two, you get something that makes Eldritch Blast a lot stronger. And then put the rest into Bard. So 10 levels of Bard and 2 levels of Warlock. So let's pick the class to see how that's going to look. And then we'll go back to the hair. Also, what other... Do we have more demonic colors? You could just do solid black. Yeah, I'm still torn, but I think the purple... I wish it could just like slowly rotate. I'm not sure if I want long hair or short hair with this type of character. Kinda like that. I think 
We have a lot of hair options in this game. Kind of like the ponytail. It's kind of elaborate. There's not too many long hairstyles, actually. I might do the ponytail. That one's actually not too bad. Go straight up bald. I don't think I like that though. That one's kind of good. Oh, I kind of like that one as well. Also not bad, but I don't know if I like those, like right next to the, the horn, it's almost a little too much. I would have thought I'd spend so much time on the hair. I might just go back to... I'm thinking the ponytail, I'm thinking between this or like the tall. Okay, so which one's this? 28A. Or... I think it was way back here. 3A. I'm thinking 3A, let's go with that one. Now do we give her a beard is the real question. <laughs> Just raven black, black neutral, gray. I think red is too much. What about like blue? What blonde? goes the best with this aesthetic. Oh, what happened to her eyes? Why did her eyes get changed? Did I do that? Oh yeah, and I can put some highlights in this, I guess. Yeah, I think some highlights. Yeah, I think maybe the purple to like kind of uh, match the eyes. I don't know which purple though. Maybe not quite as intense. Graying tone. Oh, I can make her hair like kind of gray. I don't think I want that. And I don't think I like the birds, the bird face tattoos. Squid eyes or octopus eyes. I don't know if I want her to have any face tattoos. That seems kind of fitting, but. I don't 
don't think I want to face that. Maybe that, this one, maybe if it's like less intense. Maybe like really subtle. Yeah, I kind of like that. And now we get the makeup. some makeup, I think. Is this what you'd call a smoky eye? I don't know that much about makeup, but I've, I've heard some terms in my day. Maybe this one if it wasn't so intense. No, that is way... I don't think I want blue. I think I want black. Or maybe midnight. That's like really blue. Nutmeg. Did not think I'd be spending this much time on hair and makeup, but I guess that's kind of the whole point of these videos. Is it seven? Is that the good? Seven is kind of a good one. Persuasion was one of them, granted by Charlatan, sleight of hand. I think I'll get Persuasion though when I pick up Bard. Because what happens if I actually... Oh yeah, and then I get to pick my subclass. Warlocks in service to fiends work towards corrupting destructive ends intentionally or otherwise and receive hellish blessings in turn. Warlocks bound to the eldritch beings in the far realm work towards inscrutable goals gaining strange powers over entropy in the mind. That might be a good one. Warlocks in service to fiends work towards corrupting... Okay, so there's only two. There's a third one that comes out in the full game. I 
think it's the Archfey, and I actually think that's the one that is recommended to pair with the Bard. And what would happen if I went with this? I could pick, so... Yeah, these are probably the ones I would pick anyway. And then abilities, all this stuff, I'd probably put it into... Okay, I can't put any more into Charisma. Intimidation Arcana. Yeah, so Charisma... Oh, I guess it gives you the recommended. So, yeah. This is roughly what the Succubus character would look like. So, I'm going to have a poll on my channel of which character to choose. So, if you would like the Succubus, please go and vote on my community tab. And let me know that's what you'd like to see me play. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll be doing more of these for the pirate and druid characters as well. So, let me know which one you want to see. And also, if you enjoyed this video and made it to this point, a subscribe or hitting the bell notification button or both would be greatly appreciated so you don't miss my future videos and when I eventually do my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. But I appreciate it if you've spent this much time with me. I hope you found this video entertaining and relaxing. And I really hope you'll join me in the next one. Also, since I almost forgot, I'm trying to make a viewer special video in the future where I read trigger word suggestions from my audience. So if you have any trigger words you would like me to say within reason, obviously, um, please leave them in the comments below. Just put trigger word request. And once I've compiled enough to make around at least a 20 minute video, I'm going to make a viewer special video. So please leave those comments as well, along with any feedback. But thank you for spending your time with me. And I'll see you in the next one. But until then, good night.